this <laughs> you need that's, that's nobody, why you're here. Nobody fought for freedom for this country since 1945. What the fuck, fuck are you talking about? Since we fought in World War II. Ain't nobody tried to fuck with our country since World War II. You know War why? II. Because of veterans and that even did then, it. And even then, people in this country were fucking Nazis. Really? Yes. You are so misinformed. Oh, I'm not misinformed. Which history book did you get that from? Did you, have you ever heard of fucking German Bund? B-U-N-D? Oh! oh. Yep. Yeah, Nazis! And politicians in this country are Nazis. There are police in this that are in the KKK. Does that mean that all of them are there? No, it doesn't. How many, how many, how many, how many, how many under 11 year old black kids were shot this week by black people? In how many? Chicago. Oh, black on black crime. Yeah. And how many white people were killed by white people? Less. Yeah, Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, give me a number. The numbers are higher. Okay, the numbers are higher. Don't you Google. Google. You if you're going to be here to protest, how many black Americans This is a back to blue rally. Killed, were killed, we're, uh, were killed by police officers. In round two because the first live stream died. Americans? Tell me, spin it off. Uh, the exact number? Yeah, um, exactly. Nine. Yeah, only because I just told you. Oh, that's right, sorry. How many, how many... Unarmed yeah, right white now. Americans oh. were shot. And do you not year. understand that the problem with that is that black people make up 13% of the crimes? And population. do you know that they make up for 60% of, of the crimes? Crimes, you mean arrests. Crimes. How many of them are actually guilty? And how many people have been removed? Oh my god, lady. You deserve, you deserve to get the fuck out of this country. There's no excuse to step on that black woman. Because I don't care. I was actually walking to the new office. But see, you're, you stepped on the American flag, you dropped and it. I'm a soldier, okay? You dropped it. You dropped it and hit somebody no, with it. No, that lady hit me you hit her and face. took it. I didn't hit that lady. You're a lying sack of shit. You... I hit her boyfriend. I hit her boyfriend. You, you can record it. And they knocked the flag down and knocked me backwards. No, it didn't happen that Oh, yeah. Where were you? You didn't even know. You know what? You can't. I am you know what it took? You know what it took oh, for me to go into combat and fight? No, 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 they found other people, other bodies chopped up at the base. So then defund the entire country of police because somebody got... No, my question is, did you know... all police because of a couple of fucked up cops. My, my question was, did you know about the disappearances of bodies from our military base at Fort Hood? That's what she's yelling about. Something that you might not have heard about. Because I'm bothered... That we have right now. I'm bothered that our military is dismembering or killing people. Yeah, the military did murder her. Yes, they did. They need to murder one more. I am Vanessa. I am Vanessa. You should be Vanessa. You should be Vanessa. Fucking filming me. Dox me, motherfucker. Show up at my fucking front door, see what happens. And I, I didn't say anything about doxing you. But the weapon in your back pocket is the thing that allows my camera to be here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That's your fucking head in you fuck this country off. I've been the film all day, man. I don't know why your anger's at me. Because your camera's pointing right at me. Well, you were uh, right here with all of us. Hey, somebody called Pike. Tell him I'm okay. I'm a third grade educated guy. Tell him there's a second feed. What kind of phone is that, by the way? Huh? What kind of phone is that? It's the same kind you can buy in any store in your pocket. No, but what kind? But Motorola. This is why I'm asking because my battery lasts for like two hours. Yeah, usually I keep three and cords, the heat. You gotta have, you gotta, I roll with like battery backups, right? I got a car starter in my backpack. Oh, now you want to sexualize people. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm 16. 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 I'm
smile, don't you? You got a smile. No wonder why you want to go for Trump. How to file Really? Trump? Yep. What about Biden? I do. I'm just saying, with that mask, we see a smile. That's all I said. I know you said that you look right. Well, who are you going to vote for? It is not. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little more sugar on that. That's 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 three block radius. When's the last time you were out there? When's the last time you were in Portland? Three block radius. Just a little more. It's the area around the justice center. A little more sugar. And a few areas around the fucking police precinct. Keep going. Keep going. And they have lasers and they have do you know, do you know the, the mayor just told them building? that if they lock, huh? that if they lock people inside the building, that they're going to be charged with murder? They had to be charged. So don't tell me that they can't get charged with locking people. I'd like to go along. And and you know, you know, that would be an idea. You can't lock that building. It's a fucking concrete and steel structure. Listen to you. She's right. She's yeah, no, thank you. I didn't realize I was dead. So I had to reboot. Two attacks in Portland, and you know what? Right. You know how many buildings burned? Like three. They were so effective. But, 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 but Portland's burned to the ground. Yes. Three buildings yes. are burning. Three buildings are burned. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There's a hundred wait. trash fires. Fire. The There's been some trash fires. Did he just say park. three but buildings are burned? It's unnecessary. So he's angry that they're burning the city fire. down to the ground, but only three have burnt. That's right. Is that a good argument? Yeah. A hundred buildings were set on fire, and only three were burnt. You approve of a hundred buildings being set? But you told me I was you you told me that they were burned to the ground that the city was burning to the ground. And then you said that the anti fascists are so That's right, it's burnt. They are controlling the place. Listen, I don't feel safe. You need to back up. I don't need to do shit. Fuck you. Get your fucking camera out of my face. You need to back up for me. Get the fuck get that fucking thing out of my face there. Bobby. Lisa, whatever the fuck your name is. It's his right to film whatever the fuck he likes. I'm on the side of the say Stop approaching me. Or what? Put a face mask on. Or what? Or what? What are you gonna do? Listen. Film some more. It's his right to film whatever the fuck he wants. It's They've your shut right down to the say. city and fought with the cops for 60 days. They've shut down bridges, major streets, a hundred fucking arson attacks. Stop approaching me before I hack a loogie in your face. If you do that, you'll be visiting the dentist, buddy. You hawk a loogie on me, that's assault, and I get to fucking Well, you've already spit ass. on me three times. Stay back. <laughs> Fuck you. If I hear fighting words from either one of you, I will call the police on you for that exact statue. Got it? None of it. I have two. Nobody. Fuck you. We just need to talk. So the question was... How effective I'm not is here to answer your fucking questions, Antifa. faggot. No, I like pussy. I'm a pussy eater. Not a faggot. How effective were they? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Because uh, uh, you're angry, but you're saying that that city's burned to the ground. Shut that city down. And then you said that they're That's ineffective. Right. It's burnt. So I'm looking for your educated response. It's burnt. That's okay. right. So it's burnt to the ground. Yeah. Bunch of, bunch of uh, buildings are boarded up. Bunch of storefronts are all burnt and graffitied and trashed and destroyed. And the fucking governor there isn't doing a goddamn thing about it, which is why Trump sent in federal agents and they got thrown out by the state governors as well. Okay. You think it's cool, man? You think it's fucking cool? No, I'm just okaying. I'm listening to you. You think it's fucking cool for them to throw frozen water bottles, frozen bri bri throw bricks, blind people with lasers? You think that shit's cool? No, because no, that's what's happening. I, 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 I've been kind of concerned about the videotaping that I see things like the methamphetamine trafficking, the ozone layer being depleted, the smog I see over the city and county of Denver on a daily basis. To correct something I said before, I'm not going to. But I can have an educated conversation. I don't plan to well, what? The police on what? Anybody. You don't have a conversation. Anytime that I bring up a point, you bring up another point and try and I talk just over you a question. Over and over and over again. I haven't finished a single thought with you. Well, you're both because me. you are trying to be like Mr. Intelligent. Like, but it's the same thing with every liberal. Anytime you're losing one point, you roll over into another one. My question was about the burnings. Because you said that, that Portland that is, is burned, burned. to right. the ground. That's right, it's burnt. I didn't say it's burned to the ground. You I said, never said that. I said, said it's burnt. Over a hundred buildings were burned down. No. And then it's you been said arson attack. 
asking you how okay. effective you now, think this now really I've is. Said this, I've said this five times now. Uh -huh. 100 arson attacks, three burnt arson. buildings. Okay. That doesn't mean people weren't injured. That doesn't mean fucking fire isn't a threat. And no, they weren't trash can fires. They fucking they tried to burn three police precincts. Okay, I didn't know that. You know, look, when I should go I'm look trying to get to fucking true. work, when I'm trying to get to work, and I'm a contractor, like, I don't have, like, some grace period. Here in Fort Collins? No, no, in Portland. And oh, so you don't live blocked, here? No, they have blocked the bridge in Portland. Okay, you need to stop spitting on me. And they have blocked the bridge, and people can't get to work, right? How are we supposed to deal with that? So what do the Fort Collins police have to do with the Portland police? I'm here to stand up to Antifa. That's it. And this is the headquarters for Antifa? Oh, this is where there's some Antifa showed up today, and I'm here today. That's and it. he was assaulted by Antifa, and the dude was arrested who assaulted him. Okay. Well, that's what my experience with so your experience is that Antifa leaders were here in Denver, in, in Fort See, Collins. See, you're fucking today. making shit up. Did I say that? Did I did I say Antifa leaders are here? Well, you and if somebody's crap. a member of Antifa, they're Jesus. probably a leader, right? If they're here in Fort Collins. That's the dumbest question I've ever heard. There was no Antifa, that it's not an organization. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Huh? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You're just carrying a camera so you don't get your ass kicked, buddy. I represent my own ideals and... So why are you driving? Fun. It's fun. So this is this is Fort Collins. I'm gonna ask some of these kids, why are you guys out here today? Do you live in the neighborhood? Do you live in Fort Collins? Why are you here? Is the police department uh, oppressing minorities in Fort Collins? What, ki what kinds of things is the uh, police department here in Fort Collins doing to oppress minorities? Okay, so the peaceful protesters that were on the other side of the street, I'm repeating because I can hear you, but they can't. Uh, they were they were peacefully protesting the, the, for Black Lives Matter. The pro-Trump people, the pro-police people went across the street. Instead of staying on their side of the road, they went and beat up some people, and then the people who got beat up were hauled to jail. So that is an example of the Fort Collins Police Department being biased and racially unjust. And that's why you're out here today saying that they need to do better and you're a resident of this community. Okay. And, and so as members of this city, do you feel that the elders of your city respect your, you? As, as the future leaders? None of us have weapons, almost every single one of us have weapons. You know what? They've been carrying guns. I have a city council. Your city council and your city mayor won't be able to tell the state police what to do. So these folks have suggested that they're unarmed. Yeah. And they're wondering why there's armed people here. Because I have the right to carry in this country. Because you have a right to carry. Yes, sir. And I, and I'm, and I told, I know what you is another guy I told that. I, I went, I, I was in the service 24 years, and I have a given, earned right of my constitutional rights and everything that goes along with it. So I can walk anywhere in this country because of what about the other black matter groups that pull guns and shoot people and throw bricks? Why were there, why were there bricks hidden up in Bertha two weeks ago? On the street corners. Just, just a question. So bricks? Are the roads made out of bricks? No. People put and put bricks long, along stuff like that. Line bricks up. Now, why were they there? Usually it wasn't when, the city. I, I don't know. I've never yeah. been there. But yeah. but usually when people line bricks up yeah. in a uh, in an area, they're doing landscaping work. The cops 
asked, had to have them removed. It wasn't anybody in the city that did it. See, like in Denver, yeah. our TV went out and laid out a whole bunch of rocks. And then they That's had to that go area, clean that up because they're like, well, there's all these rocks that throw at the cops and they didn't, you know, so they had to, they had to yeah. dispatch that. Well, and that was but right. I've been at events yeah. that I've heard Oh, they're stashing rocks where my camera has shown that there was no rocks present. Okay. So I haven't seen any landscaping or other bricks. I wasn't up in Berthoud. But what I would imagine is that I've, I've been to a lot of these things, okay? Nobody just lays a brick willy-nilly here and there. Oh, they were stacked bricks. Ah, okay. So what you're saying is that there's like stacks of bricks yes. there was like somebody maybe it was here over there over there like 30 40 50 no, to do a job no 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 like 15 20 in each spot and the police and they weren't even in a bag no 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 because usually the, usually the tactics that i've watched with groups like antifa or or, or a black block or whatever you want to call somebody that is anti-fascist people that are against systems of fascist oppression uh, usually their stuff is either like carried on their bodies yep. or they're like bagged, right? Yeah, you have so you a down you, you have a bag of stuff, so you can't see what it is, and you don't you have to go look at it to figure out what's in it. Well, we know that the police said something about it, and some farmers brought their front loaders in, loaded them up, and took them off. So they were a like a pallet of bricks. Well, yeah, but spread out, not at one not at one place. I mean, that's a lot of work for some protesters who don't go to work to do some shit. Yeah, but I would they think, have to do that? I, I, yeah, I would think that that sounds like some landscaping work getting done, <laughs> and I really want to well, get to the details the city, of that. The city's got, well, go ask the city, because they have to draw a permit to do it, and the city didn't know about it. Uh, I don't know. If I'm going to change my mulch to brick, I don't think I have to have a permit for that. In the city, probably, because who's going to pay you for it? Huh? Who's going to pay you for it? Pay me for you what? Know, if you went in and redid that on city property. Well, that's, I'm not going to do that on city property. Well, this was on. This was up there on, yeah, on the curbs in the city of Berthoud. Now this sounds like the feds dropping off pallets of guns in the alleys of Denver of uh, Chicago. I mean, that's pretty that far fetched. You, said, huh? you saw the bricks in Berthoud, okay? I didn't see them all, but I just see a couple, and I saw the farmer that picked them up, and put them in the bucket of his tractor, John Deere tractor. Well, you know, maybe he's got a new uh, landscape and <laughs> job project for his business. He did his steps up to his house. <laughs> I still thought you all was going home at 5.30 and I was going to call it a day. You're all still here. Everybody's here. At least, I mean, we need to go. Your planned event was still... Yeah. He shouldn't be, this guy here shouldn't be fucked with you. How like soft spoken would you be then? You know, you're right there, kid. And they're educating, they're talking, they're out here. Yeah, but. I mean, these kids, I mean, it's like these kids. Right? They came out, they saw shit go down and they got in their town and they got mad at y'all. And they're out here as the next generation speaking. It's quite interesting. But you know. Whole different world. Every, it is. Every ten years, it changes. You know. I don't see Jesus much these days. You no, know? <laughs> he ain't here. He'll come, but he ain't. And not yet. I gotta be honest with you. Yes. I don't see a lot of Jesus in the Republican right side. Well, you hear how these kids are like, I'm not voting for Trump or, oh, yeah. or, or Biden yeah, because they're both fucked. We're not talking. We're, now yeah. I'm wondering what's going to happen. Well, you know what? And Trump could be a plan. He could be a plan. He could be. He could be. He could be. Watch you what the right what? hand's doing while the left hand keeps your attention over here. Thank you. Right? I mean, I'll tell you, because they're taking away, they're trying to take away the ability to stand on the sidewalk. And put put your camera at a government building. Yeah, yeah. Right? They doing that in Denver. They said you can't film uh, on the sidewalk outside the building police department. Yeah, they're trying to 
they're, the they're, they're, they're stripping the, the rights away. They are, and that's what people don't, what I think these guys don't understand. They're peeling us like a banana right now. Uh, well, I, I, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think you see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this group here can't see it yet. Because they'll fight with you, and you'll fight with them, and, then and meanwhile, they're going to do their own fucking thing. They're doing it, and they're getting away with it, and they're destroying the world. And then, you know what, though? <laughs> I three well, it was actually two full times, and I felt I was dead. And I said, God, thank you. I want to see heaven. Take me now, and I'm here. So it doesn't bother me now. I'm ready to go, but I don't want to do it in a bad manner. But I, but I also want people to understand. People are willing. To, for, 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 I'm glad they're willing to to stand up for it. And and we where we can walk up and down the street without this fighting. We don't know. The Patriots aren't looking for all this fighting. What we're trying to say is, let's go together. Let's change first the government. Get them out of long-term. Well, wait a second. You just said change the government. Yes. Their message is to defund the police. I don't want to defund police. Change the government. Change the government. So if their, the si if their sign said, no, don't, don't change the government by defending the police, no, but would you listen to their argument? No, because I would talk to them about it. But you can't take away what it takes to, to keep peace. So or what the do you, then how do you change the government? The people up there, the, the Congress. The, they say they don't trust either side. Well, then that's, then that's fine. They say they don't trust either side and that the people that are supposed to serve both sides, they don't trust either. Then, and you just said, all, could go, yeah. but, but you just said the goal of the Patriots is to change the government. Well, we need so to how it. do we change the you government? start with, and now I'm talking about a police officer. I'm talking about the Congress. Are we live? Are we live? No. That's too bad. Are you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I got uh, 217 people hanging out right now. Okay. Uh, and that's just on this feed, not the reboots that are happening. But so Do I care? No, I was just asking so that I was making sure I was talking to your educated listeners if you were actually running a live and had There's people no, that pay an attention not, listening. So. I'm going to show you. I'm recording it for history. Oh, that's cool. If you're not posting it, then it's probably not going to be straight history. So here's the deal. I had this okay. conversation with but somebody earlier. Well because it was live. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being rebroadcast, actually. There are hundreds of thousands of people paying attention. I'm a citizen. Oh, you're a citizen. I'm a good citizen. Okay. Right? But I don't just obey. I have an opinion. So my opinion is that my brother-in-law, a Leo, he doesn't have a master's degree in medical care. He doesn't have a degree in, in handling people's stress and their brain trauma and shit like that. And I'm tired of him having to go deal with the mentally handicapped veteran who's been living on the streets for so goddamn long that he can't get through his day without a 12 pack okay so why then why isn't the upper government building the veteran program the way it should be because they're putting the money into the police department to deal with no, that at a local not. level no, in not. denver they are well then that's our government letting them misfeed how often are budgets overrun by government how okay. many times and that's stealing how many times are, are so how do we change the government if the government isn't willing to be changed well the thing is the government and our constitutional rights are they work for us you and me okay we have to get together and say term limits you so only have so long in there so if she says that she wants a social worker and a medic to take the 911 dispatch that there's a crazy person walking down the street right. talking to themselves walking in black right but the police say that's our job to go on those 911 calls you know why no, it's but job you know, to go you know, no, no, hold on. wait a second wait, wait, yeah, wait. Wait, can I no he yeah. in first thank you okay. thank you but who wait. who is 99% the first person on the scene but we can't go in but without unsafe. a cop. Right. And we, keep going, we go on calls all the time, and they can be unpredictable. Because you know what? We go on calls that potentially have violence there. We don't wait until the police clears the scene and make sure it's safe. Why they go is that? Because we're not trying to be police. So the question is, why is it exclusively police work? I had this conversation earlier, and I don't have a problem with this. I'm going to ask you. If you put a medic and a social worker out on the street 
to drive around and say, oh, there's a crazy homeless person over there that's off their meds and they, they're suffering from a little heat stroke and they haven't had a bed to sleep in and a shower and they don't know what normal is because thank you, President Reagan, for shutting down all the mental care facilities, okay? Why is it that I got to pay for somebody who carries 36 or more bullets to go say what's wrong and how can we stop it from being wrong? Why? Why? My brother-in-law isn't a shrink. He's not trained to do that. You know what? I'm what is your training? Are you a nurse? Paramedic. You're a paramedic. So I am trained in psychology and, okay. how, and how to de-escalate situations oh. on normal medical calls, on a not normal potential medical call. violent like you just said. You said so. Well, why would a medical said, person be uh, potentially violent? What is the condition? Mental, I'm talking about mental health. Medical, what is the condition health. that makes them violent? You just said if you pull off up, meds, on, you just said off their meds. It? Off their meds. Okay. Why would they be off their meds? Who knows? Probably because they can't afford them, or they choose not to take them. Okay, can't afford them. That's a good answer. Choose not to take them. That might be another access. Might be a third answer, right? Okay. Where would they keep them? Homeless. On their person. Hold on a second. A mentally handicapped person is expected to be mentally stable enough to carry their medicine on their person. Or, well, or go or. back, go back to something else in this country. Whatever happened to. Whatever what happened to family? The question is, how many people say, I want to stop having kids, and they're told, nope, you got pregnant, the Supreme Court has now ruled, if your employer doesn't want to pay for birth control, oh, they can't go buy a rubber before they yeah, fuck. In Here's the, the deal. I like both. I like my woman to be on birth control and I want a condom on because okay. I can't afford kids. <laughs> exactly. So that's not a fight and argue right here. It is because if it was a fight worth, if it was a balanced fight and we actually said that every life mattered. Who said they don't? Then who the, said they don't? Uh, let's go down to the Capitol and look yeah, at the we, fence where they took all the property from 200 people, many of whom were in their jobs, many of whom had been told by a federal judge that your property is protected until they put a post-it or a tag, they clip it and they say, now you must move your shit or we're going to throw it away. That's and, and our government which we want to change, but we cannot do it through taking money away from the people who enforce the rules, because the rules may or may not be fair, but those people have to be changed before the enforcers are changed. You can't, you can't use your oath and your conscience as a cop. My father taught me that. There's the letter of the law and there's the words of the law. And guess what? If you start using your conscience, you're fucked. But that's another story, okay? Because if you go on that call, you see that homeless person there, and you say, my conscience says that's a human being in stress. I have a conscious right to go offer and say, would you like some water? Can I give you a drink? What's going on in your world? In our world today, it's morally acceptable to determine that 10,000 people in the state of Colorado can live without a toilet and drinking water. Let me ask you a question. But, but no, look what on. they did up there, though. We have to we have to make it, and I believe we ought to build housing for them, and I think there's budget money. We don't need to support all the other countries. We need to support this country. Well, then we need to make the Let's change. make America great, then. Then let's, let's let's get out of those countries. Let's let's invest in well, our own let's infrastructure. Do it. Our but own see, instead of this, why aren't we all going to the to the, the capital? Not this capital where it got destroyed, and we have to pay to clean up where people shit on the sidewalk. You come do on, you, record this. No, do you, and I'm going to record yeah. for that budget money, yeah. so that it was a place to shit. Because as a taxpayer in the city and county of Denver, and as a person who was paying every month for an RTV passes, right? I can't even get on the bus. Go to do my go to go to my go to a bus stop and have the infrastructure because my degrees in sustainable infrastructure practices and have the infrastructure built that as there are bathrooms, right? We can't have that but human that's where, decency that's today. Where, but that's, I'm a small to, that's what we're saying. We need to have that. It's a, it's but like now, with this stuff shut down, 
It's, it's government, government funded. Yeah. All my yeah. marijuana money goes to RTV too. Okay. Yeah, but where's that money? Yeah, but why? Where is that billion of dollars that was collected the first year? Where is it? Nobody knows. Exactly. Thank you. So what are we arguing about other than the same thing? We need to make change. We're arguing about where the money goes. No. Because yeah. the money keeps disappearing and it goes into places where when people say it needs to stop going there, people are like, no, it doesn't need to stop going there. We need, in Denver, we have like a 1.6 billion public safety budget, right? It was less than $100,000 for garbage cans and, and porta potties. Less than 100000 out of $1.6 billion. Mm -hmm. Line item, every piece of it, okay? Now, when I graduated with honors as a post-traditional student at Metro, mm -hmm. my landlord said, well, you're not paying enough in rent, we're kicking you out, right? As I'm taking my finals. So I lived under the bridge at Elitch Gardens because I had a monthly pass and I didn't have enough money to go start everything all up. I was trying to finish graduating with honors. So I laid back on the work to finish all my finals and shit, right? The system is fucked up. The, the problem, right, right, right. We are though, because what these people, I have listened to them for months say, is the system is fucked up. And we want to move the money from this job title to this job title. Okay, and so that's not the fight. Because we want to do the same. That's what defund the police means no, to no, many no. people. That's, that's, that is what it means. That's what no, your no. interpretation, that's what some but people think. When you say defund, Others maybe come up with different that words. Means uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. The English language, in a constitutional manner and in a court of law manner, every specific word means something specific. What you said was different than what she said. Defund does not mean abolish. You can look it up. I didn't say it did. Ah. That is not what I said. You said in some people's minds that's what it means. Exactly. That but it's not, not what it means. Because if their mind... That, but what I'm, would you listen? Huh? Yeah, Let me okay. speak. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is that there are some people who think that defund the police is abolish the police. Okay. Okay. Some people think defund the police is take some funding and move it to social services okay. to work along with the police department. That's rebudgeting. That's not defunding. Which Collins Police already has. How many people that you hung out with today did you explain the difference to? A bunch of us. Yeah. We have meetings. So you actually meetings. educate people today that said that defunding the police does not mean abolishing the police. Yeah, and we no, talked I about how, I didn't. how okay. they fund. Okay. And we talked about That's the fund saying, zone. Though. Because okay. you can't, I've been in, I've been, you've been in other countries, well, been, whatever. You have to have somebody on first call, somewhere. Yes, and uh, somebody on first call, in most cases, in the state of Colorado, is a non-oath taker who sits at a phone, has no medical training, has no police training, they have dispatch they training. The go out. Wait a second, listen to yeah. me. The one who takes the call is the person who sits I'm at a phone. I'm not talking about phone. who takes the call. Wait a second. I said the ones that go. But Wait a second. they set the precedent for how that Wait a minute. You're using words and I throw a word in there and you're twisting my I want to be really out. clear about it. I want to be really clear about it. Right now, we have been programmed to believe only option or the primary option for a dispatcher at a 911 or 911 non 911 dispatch center is to send somebody who has the capacity to use use of force to take somebody's life now that is the, the, the that is the power that a an oath taker to the constitution has okay However, the dispatcher has the ability to discern. In many communities, they can send a firefighter, a uh, paramedic. paramedic, and no police officer is ever sent on the scene. This results in impacts on the budget of the police department because they're less arresting. They spend less money putting people into the jail system, into the courts, and those communities actually focus that money, directing it on the human being what if, what to if serve person, their needs. What if somebody needs to go? What if it's a drunk that just killed five family members? Then the call on 911. They can't, the person that makes that call and says, I need help. They can't say this guy's drunk and he just killed five people. 
they gotta send somebody. Yeah. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. You actually do go through that step. If you make a 911 call, you can experience the steps and the processes in which they're like, what is your emergency? Are you okay. safe? Can you describe the intersection that you're at? They actually interview. It had nothing to do with the guy that was drunk and, and, and wrecked and killed people. Had except that the that. wreck is over. The guy killing people has probably stopped if they're calling saying he done did that. And and definitely, I need a gun to show up when somebody is using a vehicle because to kill crime, somebody. It is a crime, that's why. They are okay. law enforcement. Okay. They broke the law by driving under the influence. They broke the law by vehicular and that's murdering fine. And, 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 that's fine. And, 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 by family. The dispatch member also says, okay, vehicles, multiple automobiles, people injured, we need an ambulance, we need firefighters, these other things. Now, if you're at Denver's 16th Street Mall and there's a person who has three bags and they're passed out on the sidewalk, how many armed personnel are needed to attend to that person? You don't know, but maybe one. Initially, if he's sleeping there passed out, I, I did my paramedic internship in Aurora. We showed up to those calls all the time. Okay, but they didn't. and so here's the concept that we keep coming back to. Does the city budget perpetually increase for the access and availability of paramedics you know, to roam the streets? Yeah. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Is public safety yeah. a mental health? Okay, but guess what? Falk in Aurora, privately owned. What's Falk? Okay. Okay, uh, Denver General. Okay. So they're not. Denver Health is absolutely. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's an NGO nonprofit. Okay. It's funded. It's in the charter. There's lots of things there. But there's other, but there's other ambulances. Okay. That they may take so now we're talking about the restructuring of our government and holding the money lines accountable to do the services that are necessary. Okay. And, and what we've been I'm talking about wanting that for 40 years. Okay. So in Denver, we put it on the budget, and the elected official, the mayor, took it off. Did, right. Right. But. But who does the mayor work for? The people. Then why aren't the people up there and not doing this shit on Friday? They why are. aren't the people? No, I, I know, but I also know where for 10 days that there was doctors that went to the Supreme Court and said, listen to us about this corona thing. We know what it takes. And we it's not all of it's on the news. And they're up there, we get now we're getting the actual force back. Uh, France was one that broke all of the national rules, started to do autopsies on everybody. You don't believe this. I do, but I'm going to, I already, I already have some uh, things that I've stated out loud earlier. One of those is that I have a degree, a science degree yeah. in sustainable infrastructure and practices. Okay. So I can go back literally on a computer and I can show you how in the last three and a half years, the role of scientific evidence-based research study about the medical professionals that and diminished by our federal government. We're right back to the same thing. The government is what's fucking shit up. up. So when people are out there protesting yeah. that the government is fucking shit up, that maybe they're doing the thing that created us, which is dumping the tea off the boat and into the ocean. I remember that. I was there. <laughs> okay, so it's circular. The fact yes, is, is that your right to carry a gun and my right to carry a camera and her right to carry a sign is the same right to carry that sign. And while the signs may say the same different things, at the end, we keep coming back to the point that in order to change our government, we must A, hold it accountable, and B, we are the people who are funding financially that right. institution. That's and right. if we don't change or refund, change the structure of funding by defunding some things and funding other things, the government do, is going, do, isn't do going to change. We need our government to study a shrimp underwater on a, on a little baby treadmill. Do we need that? Our government is funding it. Okay. I'm going to tell you about water currents, about oh, heat temperature, yeah, yeah, yeah. about the exoskeleton of that shrimp yep. and how it's deteriorating in a warmer ocean that's okay. acidifying and determining the survival aspects of species is something that our government should research because they knew about global climate change. They knew about the impacts of oil and gas and they consented to its activity.
you like to go fishing? You what? Do you like to go fishing? I don't ever fish. You, you never fished? Oh man, that's the last thing I did with my father. I caught a, uh, I caught a, uh, a largemouth bass. Last thing I did with my father before he died. Fishing is important. See, we come from different worlds. I come off the street, seven, eight years old. On my own, Dad said, "Good, I'm not gonna follow my rules. Didn't live in my house." I said, "Good thing." So I, I know more than people give me credit for. You pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, then, didn't you? More than once, I bet. More than once. I've been a millionaire twice. Didn't know how to handle it. Now I don't care about money. I, I can't take it with me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about man. money. Jesus made I'm that more clear. I'm interested in what I can leave behind. Yeah, yeah that's true. I, I mean, do. and that's where I look at it. And that's why I believe, and I'm trying, and I don't care about the fighting, the bullshit. There, there's people that do things that push edges, you know? And you uh -huh. saw me fight back. Yeah, but, yeah. But I think you probably pushed a little bit of that edge, too. Well, I do. Okay. And I have the right to. At the end of the day, though. What? We keep talking about this circular thing. Our faith walk, our faith walk, and how we answer that. Wanna, and did we make you amends? Walk, do you want to walk over to my truck? Hey. I'm going to show you my faith. I have three study Bibles and two Bibles in the, in the okay. side of my truck right okay. now. Okay, so, so my faith walk says that when I do wrong, I have to make amends, right? And I have the opportunity to make amends with God, and I have the ability to make amends with God's creatures who God created in their image, okay? In his image and her, however you want to use the verbiage, okay? Therefore, when I get so angry that I say I am unwilling to examine why you determined that this infrastructure of the government is inadequate and improperly I'm walking away from my today, all those people that came out here because you had a Blue Lives rally mm -hmm. were expressing out of the spirit guided by them. All right, let me ask you this. Stop. To try. Stop. You need to listen. You have talked yeah, a lot. I have talked. I do let that. Me, let, me, let me ask this. It's my show. We. That's okay. Now I'm just going to say in there. We. Are you Dylan by chance? No. Oh, okay. We. I've been doing this a lot We had this scheduled, okay? Uh huh. All right. I heard about it. I got a oppressor. Get out of here okay. and film. Okay, but so every time we go somewhere, they show up. Uh, why are they? Why are they working off our back? Why aren't they on the north side of Fort Collins, doing their own thing? They were. Why did they come here then? Well, I think that why some did of they them come here to get in front of us for what we were doing here, waving flags. Come on. Some of them. Yeah. Were obviously so impassioned in their faith and their beliefs and their oh, understanding yeah. of the way the system works. Yeah that they are called, just like I went street preaching in Mardi Gras yeah. on Fat Tuesday, yeah. in the middle of the drunkenness. These guys aren't here preaching those stories. They're I've not been, here preaching those stories. I'm just having in, conversations. Do I? I've been having conversations with people all afternoon. I came here because I believe that we have more in common than we have differences. And I believe that, I think people in power want us to focus on those differences. And I want to focus on what we've got in common, because I think if we come together, we're stronger. I think the, the, the media is the same way. You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. Because a lot of people follow mainstream media. I, I would tell you, I have a lot of flashbacks that are mainstream media. All right. Nope. All right, hold on now. You can film. You can keep filming. I, I, I'm and on I the sidewalk. Three minutes. You got three minutes. We got to find it. Okay, now you I want do that. I to listen to something for three minutes. Okay. Uh oh. Just wait. Unredacted. How you doing, Just wait. Brian? Life is good. Hey. Were you in Longmont last night? No, I was not. At the I, I, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was actually okay. at a at, at a rally because an indigenous yeah, yeah, veteran had his flag Here. stolen from his property and our blue give me a second she asked me a question then i'm giving you your three minutes and i was not up there four minutes and 30. Are you coming through okay because because our veteran had his flag stolen and the police department didn't go pick up the thief who was caught on camera they didn't go hand them a ticket take them in for fingerprinting they called them on the phone and said, hey, thief, you gotta show up for court. Yeah. And that veteran, 
uh, North Glen, that that veteran took us to a march to the police department because he felt that he wasn't being treated fairly when somebody was videotaped stealing from his property. Did the police know prior to that he was indigenous? The guy that's the veteran that, that got robbed? I think so, yeah. But but the fact is that if you steal, yeah, I I really you don't get a call saying time to go to court. Three minutes. All right, you know, three minutes. Four minutes. But you just listen to the first part of this. Okay. Whole song, Cowboy, okay? Back in the day. And, and it's, it's just a Who's guy. the author? Chris Ledoux. Oh, you're going to put, no, no. What? You're going to demonetize me. I can't do that. What? I can't play so it's all monetize. About the money? It's all about the money? No, but you want to give us the words no and read us the words. No copyright infringement in his videos. They, 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 they take awesome. me off. So if you want to read his words and tell us what words are important to you. I'll tell you what his words are important to you. you got to, you go there. Yeah. They, Talking about a rodeo story, him and an old friend of his. Motorcycle gang started giving him a hard time. He said, where'd you park your horse? And, and he said, I'll jerk that hat off your head. There it is. The guy puts his hat down. And he, and he couldn't be ignored. Pulled his, the cowboy pulled his hat down, oh. but the big guy couldn't be ignored. Okay. And so his friend turned around and said to the bikers, you ride a black tornado across the western skies. Okay. You'll roll your old blue northern and you milk it till it's dry. And you're going to bulldog Mississippi, but there's just one key, one key thing here. And he's telling him, you're not going to take my hat without fighting all of them. Okay? This hat's better left alone. It probably goes it used to be my story. grandfather, or my daddy's. Okay. Well, last year he passed on. And his brother skinned the rattler, but he died in Vietnam. In Vietnam. But the, the that band... Issue, doesn't it? It's that band, made out of a rattlesnake. My uncle said and Vietnam. The eagle, the eagle feather was given to him by an Indian friend of mine. Someone ran him down along the Arizona line. Drunk Indian got ran over. The real special lady gave me this hat pin. I don't think I'm going to ever see her again. Okay? That's a group of people. Mm -hmm. It's in that hat. One person. Mm -hmm. And he goes through the same thing again. And then when it's all over, he says, if you're going to fight me, you're going to have to fight all of them, not right. me. Right. So, so what he's saying, and he said, in the very beginning, he says, I think all people should be able to work stuff out. This yeah. is the rodeo cowboy yeah, yeah. message. And at, and at the tail end, he says, so you got me backed up into the corner, but if you're going to fight, if you're going to fight me, you got to fight all of them because that, that's who he is. And the, and the, the, the gang leader just slowly turned around because he said, you got my back up against the wall. Yeah. So you're going to have to fight us all. And the gang leader just kind of turned around and walked away and everybody shuffled on outside. Once they got to know who he was about each other, yeah. then guess what? It's all over. We're not going to whoop nobody's ass. We're not going to, we're not going to fight because you know what? What you said made sense. So what do you think that 16 year old and that and her story to be out here today? Do you think she's got a story? I'm a nurse. 16 year old holding the back side of the Yo Play box. I haven't heard her story. Okay. But earlier there was I was argument because we didn't get to know her story. Who said? Just like earlier, with all the colorful flags out here. We didn't get to hear everybody talking about each other's stories. Everybody thinks we hate each other because we have different ideas. It was physically push and assault women down the street. Cold cock them. I videotaped it. Who got hit? So, like the, the guy. He got hit by the rod? Yeah, that guy hit by the baton by an anti from the who, who, got, who, who got filmed with that? Right sure exactly. I, was, I was late. I probably would have got that too then. Yeah. Because I cover all that. Yeah. Yeah, I cover, I cover all fucking angles. I yeah, don't care. They, got, yeah. they ended up arresting. And they, they hit, he they put out a free. wand. He put out a wand. He hit the guy right across the uh, over there on the field. Things were set. And Don, the piece was right there on the field. And saw him pull it out, open it, and hit him. He 
Yeah. yeah. He was the first one that they cut in the side. That, that's the case. So it happens both ways, you know what Yeah, I'm absolutely. And here we got kids picking up the trash. Not picking up the recycling. No, I know that, but I'm just like, I'm expressing. Yeah. Because what I see is somebody who's got a message of... Who is you saying has a, uh, this other message? But, you know, well, these three over here, yeah. right, this 16-year-old that you got in a fight with earlier, which we don't one? know that story. The one with the blue ponytail. I didn't get in a fight with her. Verbal fight. I heard, I, I heard there was yelling. That's all I know. No, I'm not, they, they, took, they took my content. Same as you talk about out of concerts all the time. I said, you know, if you didn't have that mask on, you probably got a beautiful smile. And they go, she's 16, and you're and you're talking. Yeah. No, I said you probably have a smile. And you know what'll stop a fight every time? A smile. Thank you. That's right. And let me tell um, you what. I'm or a, a Chinese man sitting in front of a tank for you know until <laughs> his life is taken. I've had that. <laughs> but. but. I'm a certified Christian counselor. And if hey, Antifa! You got a cigarette? <laughs> but I'm only Antifa when I'm feeding the homeless, dude. Well, what so happens need, when you're not feeding the homeless? We need to look at more of this. I still hate that. But we need, why, don't, why don't we have group meetings like we do with our group? Because what we're preparing for is civil war. Who's going to fight the civil war? You know where it's going to happen? It's going to be the Patriots because they're building the Patriots against the blacks. And it's going to be the other racial colors in this country that are going to have to decide. And it's going to go into the bigger cities to start with, just like happens in the other countries. And we're going to start living in rubble. When you talk chaos. about Patriots, are you talking 3%? Not just 3%. I'm talking veterans. I'm a U.S. veteran. And we okay. are Patriots as a U.S. veteran. Oath Keepers? Oath Keepers? Oath Keepers? Oath, O A T H. First oath is to the Constitution of the United States of America. Okay, I hate to tell you this. These people probably have the same goal as you have. Well, then why can't we get together? Instead of standing out here and everybody wants to get crazy with each other and, 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 and talk like we are, but do it in an organized fashion and, and, get, and get, you know. Not, I've worked the streets a long time. I've lived on the streets. I've, I lived on the streets. I've hey, done everything. Where did you live on the streets? What city? In Decatur, Illinois, in Texas. Houston, Texas. Decatur? You lived on the streets in Decatur? Violet Decatur? Yes. Farm town? Yeah. Yeah. Just 36 miles from Springfield, Illinois. That's not that far from Springfield. Yeah, yeah Decatur. It it's a small town. Probably a pretty safe place to be homeless. Mm, not too many. Some, but when I, and then you get down into Houston, I was down in St. Louis for a little bit. You know, I lived in Peoria for over a decade. Okay. I know. That's right. But you know what? You know what? I had. Uh, I, had I didn't. But I worked. I didn't steal. Huh? I did my job. I started working at eight years old, and I did it. So I, I, then, I feel that. And then I went and I went into the service. Spent 24 years in army. This guy, God, he's just so trigger happy. Just nice conversation I'm and then start yelling. I'm, I'm gonna get go, huh? You work that way, I'll work Okay, so we're, uh, that gentleman and I have just decided that uh, uh, we're gonna encourage our uh, friends to uh, carry on. And maybe that's uh, walking around the block till everybody leaves. I'm hungry. <laughs> I need to I eat. We're getting maybe <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I'm, uh, I think, I think, I think that they're... Because this motherfucker here said, fuck you, just 10 seconds ago. Fuck out of here. Hey, All right, now it's time. What is your problem? Do you have penis therapy or something? Shut up. Don't put your fucking shit in my face. I'll say whatever I want. Assaulting that person, stealing your stuff, and throwing it into the grill. That's not it. Thanks for helping, bitch. <laughs> you want to keep it, but you're gonna. You got to stop the stop. 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 You want to make so that you're useless. Okay. Hey. Hey. I, 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 I gotta go. Oh, I need a beer. Right I did too, man. He got flipped by a cop. He was sitting in shit in my face. Did you wave at him? No. Did you wave at him? I was to my boyfriend, so I put a little bit of a divider up between them. Wait, as a woman, you were putting yourself between two men? Yeah. Which one? 
But the thing is, though, is that the cops stop. And he was punched earlier by this man. One sign. Right there. That man punched my boyfriend. No punches were thrown. No punches were thrown. Nobody grabbed him. I mean, it's a sign. So it's a. I thought, I thought well, now again, though, what does defund mean to you? I've sat in city council meetings. I know what they're talking about. I'm going to encourage these folks to go find their cars. Let's do that. The sign says ACAB, all cops are basketball. ACAB, I heard all cats were beautiful. Yeah, yeah, there you go again. Yeah. I've heard that, but I didn't see the words all cats are basketball. I know I got into that sign earlier. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it says. A C A B. Okay, that's he's got the second amendment to protect the first, right? So he's able to say that then. Okay. Either way. What was the crime? What was the crime? Yeah. And at the end of the day, <laughs> and at the end of the day, nobody's gonna get charge because it's not gonna happen, right? So, one of your twinks hit me with a fucking baton earlier. Let's see. What about that? What about the guy who pulled the baton out? What? Well, that guy's in jail, allegedly, right? Yeah, he went to jail. Okay. But the violence was there. Yeah, you know, I'm probably guessing that there was violence all over. That was an assault. That was an assault. <laughs> and it, it was part of the anyway, I'm going to take you. Dude, do you have another smoke? Yeah. I'll give you the end of this. Let me have two more drags. He pulled out his baton. You don't have the video. You're talking shit to everybody. No, no, hold on. It's very interesting. I didn't know. I don't think I have the video. Get this whole shit. Of course, I've been around a lot of people without masks on today. Well, you asked me if I had the vid. I don't give a shit. Well, okay. fucking, I'm dying either shit way. For you anyway. Actually, this is a filtered mask. It is designed to. Well, you're gonna, you're we're all gonna die. And you're a smoker. You're gonna go for it. Yeah, you're high risk, dude. That's right. All right. Well. No, I don't think that, uh, that that's happening. I thought that we were just trying to like. I want to stop filming. Oh, what time it is? That's the question you had. Seven o'clock. What's that got to do with what I just said? Because you're asking what her hard hat and fucking vest on. Today, you, you think here, you don't here. Work? Here. It's Saturday. They came here. You tell me I said the ones that come in here, here one of them into a... Into a, into a, a yeah, yeah, see, we're just going to get back into a shouting match, and this isn't going to do anybody good, right? Why would you come in and put a hard hat on and a vest on, put your gloves because on, they were wear your batons, and have... People bring things like batons. Oh, no. Yeah, and, and then one of yours attacked him earlier today. That's good. Let's go. Maybe I'll talk I'll have She's claiming that you know, racism is the best. Everybody says I'm racist. Racism is in human. Well, have been in humans. Absolutely, and our country was founded on uh, uh, on racist Every oppression. Every country was founded on racism. Exactly. So, finding out how finding out how we get over that is is got to be the challenge. Vikings are no longer alive. Are we gonna fight for them? I love the logic of days. Yeah, no. Viking lives should matter. Viking life. Viking life matter. Viking lives. Viking lives matter. <laughs> Yes, yes, I have been shot at. Yes. Oh, oh, you have. <laughs> I've had a gun to my head. And I've run into the gunfire. You can carry anything you want. I'm not going to touch anybody. Oh, whatever. I can stand right here filming. And there ain't nothing. I'm not touching you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. on her shoulders. <laughs> but see what I'm saying? It doesn't make a difference if it's peaceful. And what we got to do to make it peaceful is quit fighting this shit out of the and go to our government and say, let's get the budget. Let's get the budget straight so you can be hired to do a job for me. Bitch out of concert. That's who's fucking us up and getting us in trouble. I agree. I agree. Can I ask you a question? Every Monday? Every Tuesday? Every Wednesday? Every Thursday? Every Friday? Every Saturday? Every Sunday? Every Sunday? Every Sunday? Every Sunday? Every Sunday? Every Sunday? Every Sunday?
every Wednesday. Because these people have come, they don't care about us. But so anybody said Congress for 40 years, she goes, they go in there broke and they have a 666 million dollar worth. Where did that money come from? The illegal. We know that, and that's why we came here today because we then why don't they get with us and we all go fight the same thing? That's what we're trying to do. We want to start that. But then they don't need it. Yeah, we all have one side. Everyone is equal. No, we don't need to run. When you, when I first went to Congress, when I went back in the 50s, you think it's bad? There was signs, and you, there was signs going across the bridge in uh, K-Roll, Illinois. It said, black man, do not let your shadow go down day, here. It, it, underneath it, it said the hanging. Every day you want to live. These guys That's don't see none of that shit in today's want. world. Thank you. Yeah, back there, it was everywhere. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't out there now. <laughs> it, has, it has gotten better. Is it perfect? No. But we can't, it'll never change. Can you go to I can't say that's every day. When things change, we can stop. This guy right here is doing a damn good job. He talks a little and he has his own hard point. I do have some hard points. Of course, I've been I've been arrested three times for my free speech. Yes, right? For your free speech. Silently filming, not put in jail for it. Silently filming them. Oh, yeah. Just standing there quietly. But you know, like, like in the stores tell me, you have to wear a mask. I've gone all over this country. I've been on airplanes. I've been on everything. There you go. I haven't put a mask on. I don't believe in that. Like these people don't believe in that. Like this, right? And then they wonder why they drive by. At the end of the day. Hey, do that one. She's over and put the top on. Of course. Of course she is. But you know what? Have we figured out what her pain is? Or their pain is. Yeah, but the problem is when the cop doesn't stop, you know why? Because a human, okay, and he sees that and he says, fuck them. Now, that's just human. That is just human. And 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 quite honestly, if the attitude is fuck the police and we don't want the police to come around when they need them, then maybe they shouldn't. And I don't mean maybe they shouldn't. But this these crowds, that's where I told you it's going to a war. Because when these people got together. Who's gonna be the biggest number because gangs win by numbers? And that's the point they're making. These people, that's the point they're making? Or the cops? By numbers and strategy. Who's got the numbers and strategy? Is it the government funded officials or is it the people? Right now it's the government, but we have to overturn that. And we gotta vote people out and we gotta. I am so sick of our government. I worked in Washington, D.C. at the Pentagon, okay, in 1975, right after Vietnam. I, I mean, I've seen shit over this world that these guys would puke. They would puke for days. But we're out here today saying peacefully we need to change. But it has to take the young people. takes a family to hold it together. And if they don't have a family, why do you think gangs are going to go? Because every human needs that bond with each other. There's a few out of a million that says, I can do it on my own. The rest of them, you want something, don't you? you that's your boyfriend? So do you not want that companionship? Come on, honest answer. It's not a sex question. Oh, what you're looking at. But if, with the family, in gangs, gangs get people, they, they get people to follow, okay? They get weak people to follow, because if you get out of every, I can get the number, call it 50,000 people, there's one of these, the rest of them follow like, like running water. They'll take the easiest path. The communist regime walking to say they want that and he's going to press on they want to make people look like all and the fucking glory and beautiful and that the opposite so, video is the people that are watching our houses screaming so, at him let us out let us out hey, because they're talking about the outside not the inside and there are people dying in the situation it's the key to get out of that house because the communist regime and this, that is communism, and that is what Biden is in the middle of.
That's good. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were aware of that. Not. Nah, there's a program started in Denver on the Veterans Day. Level program. Good work. Let us work on it. Yeah. I haven't done too much. There's a group in Denver called Dasher. Uh, it says Hot Snot Cops on it. And it's, it's a good idea to send somebody out there to screen the message. My car. Yeah, I've been, I've been like watching on screens and stuff for 65 days now. Some shit like that. Feels like it's 70 some, be honest with you. It's 70, but I've only been watching for Gotcha. I like what you guys do down in Denver when you hold up How you go through when you hand out literature on things. Driver. <laughs> I'm sorry. These guys over here just got me cracking up over oh, here. The yeah, no, they, yeah. that too. <laughs> but because of a lack of education. No, well, like I was saying, though, I like what you guys do with the literature when you're holding a down. These guys. You guys. To the point. So you yeah, them. I also like how you interview the driver. And so we try to do. We try to keep it real. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Seriously. You're doing a good job out there. You all are doing a great job out there. We try. No, mental health is just there. No, I'm saying all of those. I watch both. Oh, you were watching me on Woke? Yeah, I hate that shit. It doesn't come back to me directly, and I don't get paid for what's on Woke. I do have to watch one of the Thank you. Yeah, we do what we can. The guy that runs it. I'm trying to figure it out. We got a few different people. No, I don't. He actually encouraged me to get him to come up here. One of the biggest. I'm going to go. 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 Yeah, yeah. Send money to you guys. Well, we're always grateful for that. We wouldn't have to scream to watch the road if it wasn't for you guys out on the street. <laughs> that's right, that's right. No, I get it. Somebody threw me a 20 in my feed this morning, you know, the earlier version. Paid media. But it feels like, uh, it feels like I need to go. We're uh, dwindling down to five or six. Try to clear this up. I'm gonna slide by here, boss. And he said, he said, uh, okay. And I said, now why'd you stop? He said, you were three lanes. I said, hell, I had some dumbass behind you with his goddamn bright lights in my mirror. Thank you both very much. Appreciate why you. did you do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I was trying to get your place. We'll be at Neverland. Oh, yeah, we'll be there for that too. That's why I gotta go home. Because there's a trans march tomorrow. So, folks, this is getting uh, down to the end. Oh, yeah, thank you, Morbid. Appreciate you for putting up the masks. I don't think they truly understand what they're saying, but I think it's whittling down, huh? Uh,
Yeah, 24-7, state of Colorado. All right, folks, I'm going to cut the feed. We're going to go figure out Bill on some situations and uh, call it a day. So that's, I think, our next step, huh? I think the takeaway from today is that we all uh, right? I've had my ass beat by the cops. Tyrannical government. Do you feel that that's the case? What's that? That you live under a tyrannical government? I don't know the word tyrannical. I only got a third grade education. What's tyranny? You know, like a, a government yeah. that overreaches. See, look at these young kids educating me. Yeah. What do you think does the, enforce, the enforcing of a, a government that's overstepping? You got about. Now I'm gonna take the camera off, y'all. Don't be fighting amongst each other now. We're not. Okay. Hey, you know what? No, but I know his brother who. Why? Maybe we can have a hug there. <laughs> hug it out. Did you hear what I said? You asked me if I know what? Ooh, why? We'll see you again. All right. Don't be, don't be beating each other up now. Loveland. When? Where? Next weekend. Lake Loveland. Southside. Next weekend. Oh man, I was trying to like go to the mountains and relax for a weekend. Sorry, dude. I mean, the price of being in the media, isn't it? <laughs> the price of being in the media. Yeah, it's like 80 straight days. It feels like right now. It has been. Yeah. So I'm guessing that some of you live in this neighborhood and some of these folks live in this neighborhood. No, I live in Loveland, actually. Oh, okay. It's going to be a standoff. Oh, so you got to drive ahead a little bit. Half an hour? I go to all of them. Loveland, Burford, Fort Collins. I haven't seen you in Denver. I was not able to go to the one in Denver. One? There's been 70 plus days of continuous protests in Denver. Oh. Okay. Oh, defend the. Yeah, yeah, I saw that earlier. That wasn't the point of the conversation. She said she went to all of them. And so I was trying to figure that out. This, as in, this is the back of the blue rally. Okay. So do you go to Trump rallies too? I've never been to a Trump rally. Okay. You don't equate the two as being the same then? Absolutely not. Do you think you'll be voting for our current president? A lot of people said they wouldn't vote for either one of them today. Definitely not going for Biden. Jesus. So what non-Republican candidate would you vote for? I mean, I I looked at Joe. Besides the Democratic candidate. No, not Joe. Not Biden. I'm talking about Joe. She's running for as a libertarian. Libertarian candidate. Okay. Thank God Jesus was black. Thank God. You do know that, right? He was black. He was color. He was color. He was color. You're not supposed to say black. So it's, so it's not black or white anymore. It's colored. Yeah. I'm just being so I'm sorry. It's just, just the way I was raised. You're not white. No, I'm not. Thank you. Thank you. Because... Even our, our blue lines can't figure that out, right? My dot, I think my FBI dossier recognizes that I'm Chicano, but definitely not my DPD oh, dossier. DPD. <laughs> yeah, they're racist. That's a good way to keep the flag. That, that follows that follows flag code. If you're gonna have a flag, you gotta respect it. That's not the uh, proper way to fold the flag either. It's not an American flag, it's the blue line flag. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Good to say it wasn't. Okay. How do you fold how do you fold up the tiny little one like that? On Here, will you hold this for a second? I got you. I'll show you how I fold it up. You just had it in you your pocket just like I she did. did. 
good. Because if you really want to fold it up, you probably gotta you gotta do something like this. Not your fold wrong. <laughs> and you're gonna do it again like that, and then gonna go corner like this here. Do you know what all 13 folds stand for? Are you assuming that the 13 folds represent the 13 colonies? And then, and then I'm going to tuck it in like this, and then I would probably throw it in the burn barrel to properly destroy it. Yes. Or up above. I totally messed up your thing. I'm so sorry. Well, I don't have a burn barrel. Do we have a fire? Because I think some of these. Go take it to the fire department. Take it. Yeah. They probably would. I could just get a burn barrel here. That would probably piss people off. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> but that's just saying that the flag needs better. I'm leaving because I got other shit to do. God bless you. We do what we can. You know who I am? Oh, yeah. oh Jesus. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy, folks. They know me. Oh, I know why it's upside down. Yeah, I fucked up. Oh, yeah. We forget you. We're usually we're in uh, Longmouth. That's hilarious. They didn't know who I was today. No, really? Oh. You're like our main news. Check the live stream when it comes protest, you know? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, get hyped up. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I got a car. You know, I gotta find somebody selling me a gallon of beer. Hey, For some reason, this. Yeah. There's money at his uh, breweries around here. Except they won't sell me a gallon of beer in my own gallon jug because, like, I have a. Gr I have a growler, and because of COVID, they can't like wash it and then like fill it with beer. Oh wait, you have a growler, but they won't use it. Yeah. They make you get a new one. Yeah, twenty for a new growler at New Belgium. Really? Yeah. They wouldn't fill my growler today. They wouldn't fill no because it's supposed to be with COVID. I'm like, really? Seriously? You can't get COVID from glass. They're just trying to. They're just trying to. They're just trying Somebody lost their bicycle helmet today. Yeah, it's fucked up. I I was pissed. I wanted, I wanted some Fort Collins beer. I was really looking forward to it. Go down to Lockwood, there's plenty of breweries out there too. And Weld County? I can't go to Weld County. I can't breathe the air up there. Oh, because of all the oil and gas. Have you not seen the flare, the, flare, uh, uh, the infrared, the gas uh, videos? I had a, a cat uh, caterpillar phone, and it had a, like a uh, it's F L I R lens, so you can see the gases emitting from those things. Yeah, it's real. I stand out on the highway and just film it, and so you can see everything coming off of it, the offcasting. It's a thing. Yeah. All right, folks, I'm violating the law. But you know you want me to do it, don't you? Cops are like a box of chocolates. <laughs> How's <is> that? Because <laughs> I don't still fires them. Oh, Jesus. I did my best today, folks. It was very violent. It was very angry. I, uh... They will kill your dog in an instant, won't they? They sure will. So, it's a crazy day, folks. God bless you too, Tuki. Tuki Williams, Lady Zanga, Keith Anderson, Princess and the Pirate. That has been a day, hasn't it? Oh, I missed my sidewalk. Should we stop and smell the roses, friends?
Put your nose right up in there. The roses are pretty. <laughs> what a day, what a day. Probably have to burn the flag. <laughs> That's what I told him. All right, guys, that's it. I'm letting you go. Good night. Be safe. Thanks for hanging out. Little by P, Mick Love, Keith Anderson. Glad you're all here. Thank you for hanging out. Holy! <laughs>